We have incredibly sad news to report. Quad Webb's niece has passed away at her home in a terrible accident. Welcome back to the Campari Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So while we were live recapping The Real Housewives of New York and we were working on the Carly Russell story, this other story broke about Quad Webb from Married to Medicine. According to our friends over at WSBTV, they're reporting this in regards to what happened at over, over at Quad's home in Georgia. They write this, a three-year-old girl has, has drowned at the home of Atlanta reality star Quad Webb, according to police reports obtained by Channel 2 Action News. They said the Cobb County police responded to reports of a drowning on Sherwood Lane in Marietta in, on July 7th. The home is the address of Quadria, as you know, Quad Webb, who is the main cast member on Married to Medicine Atlanta. They said that police said that they were advised that a three-year-old girl had drowned in the backyard swimming pool. When officers got to the scene, they found firefighters giving the child medical aid. They took to Scottish Wright Hospital, where she died. Police spoke with two men who were visiting the home who said that they were in the pool for around two hours between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., then got out and ordered pizza. The men said that they went inside and hung out for a while, and when they went back downstairs, they saw what they thought was a doll in the pool. The men realized it was the child, pulled her from the pool, and called 911. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Officers determined that the child was the daughter of Tamika Webb from Memphis, Tennessee. She was identified on the police report, report as Ariana Rice. The police report lists that the Marietta home as Rice's address, though the police report said the child was just at the home for a month-long vacation. Webb posted the, the photos of the child named Ari on her Instagram page with the caption, You absolutely stole my heart from the moment I saw you. Ari, you're so special to me, and I'm grateful to be a part of your life. I got you forever. Police interviewed the child's grandmother, Mary Louise Cox, who said that the last time she saw the child was with her daughter, Quadria, but couldn't remember what time. The police report lists the drowning as a tragic accident. Webb has not commented on the child's death or said what her exact relationship to the child. Well, now Quad is speaking out in regards to this, and this is coming from our friends over at People Magazine. So in a statement to People Magazine, Quad said that this is the second loss of two beloved family members. Quad had, had experienced in just one week, both separate occasions. This has been an incredibly challenging experience for the entire family. You, your understanding and support are deeply valued, the rep said. In this trying time, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for the kindness and compassion shown by the public, fans, and media. We kindly request much-needed privacy during this period of mourning as Quad is taking time to grieve with her family. Of course, people are looking at Quad's social media and seeing posts that she had recently posted about Ari back in April and celebrating her birthday. Quad captioned the photo, a series of photos saying, wow, I can't believe my baby is three years old. I remember you falling, falling to sleep, laying on my chest. You absolutely stole my heart from the moment I saw you. Ari, you're so special to me and I'm grateful to be a part of your life. I got you forever. Happy birthday, chocolate drop. She told Bravo TV, Bravo TV's The Daily Dish back in June of 2020 that she was part of a village helping to raise Ari, but that Ari was, quote, not my adopted daughter. My mom and I are in a supportive role for Ari, and while everyone is elated about the new addition to our family, she has a mother, Quad told the outlet. We are the village here to support baby Ari. So this becomes, as you know, if you watched the last season of Married to Medicine, that you saw that Quad, Quad has done this for you know her late brother as well, and she she apparently was doing this for, and obviously she was doing this for other family members. So, so the, the Quad that we've come to see on the show versus the quad in real life is quite different. She's, I think in this last season, we got to see a warmer, softer side of quad, but it's very clear that quad is all about her family. And I know this has to be such a hard time, especially because they said this is the second loss that they've experienced recently. 
definitely we are praying for Quad and her family because these types of accidents happen a lot. I don't think people even realize this. So I already know that the family and friends are probably just sort of like, they are probably punishing themselves more than they than they, than they should. So if anything, we are just all just praying for Quad during this really, really, really sad time. Guys, let's continue to send the love to Quad and her family during this tragic, tragic accident in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter, I got the